Welcome everyone to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to be cheating quite a bit. Uh, it's not unscripted and maybe it's not even really coding, but it is about web development. It is about the tools around it. So um, let me just give you guys a real world example here. This is my blog on reference.legal and you know, I write I've just started writing a couple articles here and there, and there's all of this search engine optimization, SEO. And what's really frustrating is uh, I'm getting this kind of medium face and, and frowny face, and there's all these steps to make sure that your content is optimized for search. And what that means is you want to rank high up when somebody is searching relevant terms, what you're talking about on Google, on Bing, on Yahoo. Because traffic is everything. The more traffic you get, the more people you're inter are interested in your work, the more money you get, the more ad revenue, blah, 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 blah. You want to rank high up there because most people find things on Google or Bing or Yahoo to a lesser degree. What you want to do is make it very easy for Google to find your content and for them to get a good sense of what's in there. And all of this is encompassed in search engine optimization, SEO. And in short, what you want to do is uh, make it easy for them. Have all the metadata available so your uh, or Google's bot is not trying to figure out this massive text. It's got the keywords. It's got a preview. It's got the title. All of these pieces ready to go. And there are other um, aspects too. You want to say the right things. You want to use the keywords right up front. You want images. You want links. But today, the the really quick, simple thing that is taking me a bit of time to do is creating this meta description, a short summary of your text. I'm realizing right now, this is not a good keyword. Let me just use this. WordPress has all of these amazing tools. It used to be you'd open up the HTML file and put them in yourself, but now you have all these amazing tools where you just type it in. <clears throat> but we can make it simpler. This meta description, what I'm going to do is try and use OpenAI to summarize, and I'm just going to test a couple of different summarizers. Now, the real problem here is that the meta description is supposed to be 155 characters long. Uh, that is, I think, for Google search. Uh, there are different lengths for different engines, but we're really just targeting Google for now. What I want to do is just copy all of this text that, that I've written um, and paste it into OpenAI. They have a couple different options in the playground here. I think there is a TLDR summarizer. I think that is our best bet here. What you want to do is put your text in here. Uh, that is awful. Just one second. I think there is a preview button. So we can copy the text, nice and simple. There we go. TLDR, summarize it for us. Now, I am not going to use the most expensive. Ah, you know what? Let's use the most expensive spot. Uh, maximum length. That's fine. Let's go with this. Open. That's actually not bad. That's probably the gist of it. Uh, standardizing. I, I have a bunch of examples, but standardizing contracts is not a hopeless endeavor. Successful examples of standardization already exist in many industries. The key to success is simplicity. Fine. Word count. 
Let's see how that is. 156 characters. That is phenomenal. Um, that is an excellent option here. Um, the other thing I wanted to quickly try before I get back into OpenAI is there are a bunch of other summarizers as well. I just googled um, various summarizers and I wanted to see very quickly what they would look like. So over here, quite a bit longer. I don't know that this is a great summary. In fact, I think they just pulled random sentences. Oh, AI. Okay, you got paid for the AI summarizer. Okay, let's try this one now and get it fairly short. Try this again. Uh, okay, th that's not great. Let's try this again. And we'll go with the Florida sort summarize. Nah, these are terrible. So, uh, open AI. Pretty good, but there are other options. So TLDR, that ran pretty decently, but if I try and rerun this again, oops. Uh, if I try and run this again, I don't know that uh, it's possible and has been done before. It's a matter of wounds. Ah, that's not, that's not terrible either. <clears throat> But I think we're setting maximum length based on token. What I wanted to do is see if there are other summary prompts, and this one is a good one. Summarize this for a second grade student. Um, summarize this in 155 characters or less. Let's see if let's see if OpenAI understands this. See, this is this is just amazing. Um, okay, uh, let me just pull up another one of my posts. Um, let's pull it up here. Preview. Open a new tab. Hopefully this isn't too boring. Legal tech is an area which I'm interested in. But I can understand not everyone is really excited about laws and contracts and technology. But let's see if we can keep getting 155 character. Okay, 98 characters. So that is an absolutely perfect summary. Uh, in let's go one forty five to one hundred fifty five characters. Let's see if it understands that because this is a little floor. If it's ninety eight characters, you're not using all of the prompts that are available to you. Same one as before. So it's not really understanding between. I think so. Yeah. In 145. Summarize this between 145 to 155 characters. Let's try. And I'm going to go down one to see if we get different results. Oof. It's pretty bad. Uh, let's go back to DaVinci, see how that result looks like. Quite a bit longer, so it's not understanding. In 105. And what? 
try this. One more time. I think this is too long. 188. Okay, so you can see that um, it's not fully understanding this in 155 characters or less. Let's try this one more time. Oops. See, way too long, way too long. Okay. Uh, maybe words are better. Um, in, I think, 24 words or less. Oops. To keep removing that answer. Yep. Okay, so we are cycling through a couple of different results, but ultimately, I think OpenAI probably has the best summaries out of all of them. Granted, I am paying a couple pennies uh, to, to run this test, whereas I'm not paying these other solutions. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys real life. If, if you start blogging, you have to worry about these things, about SEO, about readability, and having AI can really just make this a lot easier because writing 300, 400 word articles every week is, I can bang that out, no problem. But all of the side things, thinking about keywords, thinking about uh, the descriptions, the summaries is pretty painful to be honest and if i have the tools ready to go um that will be very helpful uh, i can i can use the api and i can write a script on um in python just to get the keywords get uh the descriptions get the summaries all of that automatically and you know human eyes i might tweak them afterwards but it'll certainly make life a lot easier Anyways, uh, I hope you guys found that helpful. It's not really programming, but you got to use the tools that are in front of you to, to, to do the best that you can. And AI leveraging OpenAI and GP, GPT-3 is going to be pretty huge for anyone that pays money for, uh, you know, writing blog posts, uh, summarizing, creating hashtags. Oh, there was a, a really great one um, where you can create hashtags. So, um, maybe not, but uh, there was a, a, a way to use OpenAI to create hashtags. And it's not limited to just blogging. If you put YouTube videos, if you uh, do Instagram, all sorts of social media, you got to think about these things. and piecing them together is going to be uh, useful. When I said YouTube videos, I was thinking, well, you can use something like speech recognition, pull out the transcript, and then you can generate a description. You can generate the hashtags, the keywords, all of those ready to go, at least as a draft to start with. Um, but for now, OpenAI's playground is, is perfectly fine. I don't blog at an industrial level, but always interesting to think about. If you enjoyed this content, uh, let me know. Thumbs up, subscribe. If you didn't, also let me know. Construct constructive criticism is always appreciated. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.